Hello there guys, this is Wakefield Trainland and welcome back to a brand new video. Now this review is of a very old locomotive. I estimate it's a 1980s locomotive, but with all that said it is very, very detailed. Well at least I think so. This is the schools class. And in particular this is Stowe. Yes, so number 928 Stowe has been made in the uh, model era. A long long time ago they haven't they haven't done it since but this is a preserved model and I actually picked this up for about 40 pound and it works absolutely fine and, uh, and I might show it off one video but this is what you get you get the card there's the schools class there's the front this is a Richard Mansell design, as can be seen by the smoke deflectors, and this is a 440 wheel arrangement, and this is an express passenger locomotive, or was. This one has just Southern on the tender, in uh, olive green. I think it's Malachi green, I don't know. Now it says here, with locomotive crew and vacuum pipes, but because this is second hand, I didn't get that. Uh, the school's class is also known as a class V. And as you can see right here, it says Stowe, and this is one of three preserved. And the schools class started life in 1930, where 40 of them were built. And by the, and by the end of, I think, 1963 or something, there were only three preserved, which is number 925, yeah, number 925 Cheltenham, 926 Repton, which is the most famous member of the class, and number 928 Repton, uh, sorry, Stowe, which is this one. Absolutely gorgeous. I am nowhere near from the southern region, but I love these. I really do, and this is a really, really old version. So, without further ado, let's just get into it, and I hope this track's big enough. So this is what you get. You get a post diving packaging, and it lifts up like that. And you have to be very careful with this. And uh, yeah, even though she's from the 1980s, she's as shiny as a new pin. I'll just uh, put her on the tracks. Well, I think there is enough room for the tender. Uh, let me just get the tender out. Uh, this is tender driven, by the way. So this will have the old, oops, this will have the old ring fill motor. Um, come on, this is very fiddly, and there we go. This is the school's class. Nothing wrong with her at all. Uh, yeah, smoke deflectors, leaning this, there we go. I've adjusted it. Yeah, uh, here she is. She did have a coupling at the front, but I decided to remove it because even though she's preserved and she can very well pull trains backwards, I prefer these sort to pull trains forwards and as you can see for the detail it's quite something there's two white boiler bands as you can see up there the name plate is clearly visible there's a metal reverser rod there's copper pipe work safety valves I think they're safety valves oh yeah that, I think that'll be the whistle the molded bit uh, the dome the funnel the various bits and bobs, or they can be the whistles actually, I don't know, they can be the whistles. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a four, four, a wheel arrangement. Oh, I don't know why I zoomed in. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if we look inside the cab, there, there is white bits, so there is a bit of cab detail. And as you can see, this is proof that it's local, sorry, tender driven. And the tender, does it? Yeah, it comes off. The tender just pulls off, and there is the old ring field motor. Now I've got it off. Can I get it back on? Oh, there we are. I've got it back on. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, these, these were pure southern engines. They weren't pre-grouping. And, um, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Now, what I said about the most famous member of the class is uh, 926 Repton. That can be found on the... Oh, God. Um, what railway was it? 
it was a preserved railway, it, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. If you just search it, it'll tell you. There. <laughs> and as you can see, this is a typical Richard Mansell design because at the front there are the trademark smoke deflectors. And uh, this actually has a smoke unit inside. Uh, does, it, does it have screws on the bottom? I'm not going to open it. Uh, in fact, I daren't open it because, uh, well, there's nothing wrong with it, basically. Uh, I'm just looking all around to see if there's anything I've missed. I think the smoke box door does come Oh, it does. Oh, this is, this is something I haven't noticed before. Um... I don't know what this is. I think this might be the smoke unit. I don't know. Yeah, I've just took the door off. And there's the smoke unit. But, uh, yeah. I'll put, oops. <laughs> Door's on upside down. My is a guide, so there's no need to worry. Yeah, if you uh, put this super duper 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 fast around the layout, up to its maximum, you will see smoke coming out of the funnel. But there's nothing to worry about. The smoke is meant to be there. It's a feature because it. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, there it is. Because it says here with the smoke. So this is this is like the smooth smoke unit. Is it called? So yeah, the smooth smoke unit. I don't even know. Uh, let's not forget the southern. I don't know if this is the prototypical font, but southern is just pasted beautifully there and there's a white lining around the tinder and I've only just noticed there's a teeny bit broke off the tinder but that doesn't bother me and um, yeah we have the most simplest and the first I think it's the first of motors the ring field motor in there so um, if I remember sometime down the line no pun intended I will show this one running because she is a very, very good model, and in spite of her age, she runs extremely well. So, how do I rate this mod model overall? Well, even though it's a um, 1980s model, it is going to be an 8 out of 10. Uh, two points because it's tender driven, and it's quite old. And um, cab details, not all there. But then again, what do you expect from the 1930s? So there you go, that's the review done, and I shall see you next time.